everybody. Um, we have one live person here in the hall um, to give a little bit of a feeling like we're performing for a live audience. Hello, it's so great that you are here watching us this evening. We are Jaboa. I can't tell you how good it feels to be playing here again with this band. Um, we're playing in the Hall of Splendor in Amsterdam. And I have to say, this is a bit of a special place for this band. This was the venue for our very first gig, I think, five years ago. I'm looking at Dodo. I wasn't there oh. yet. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, this is where we first played, and it's really nice to be playing live again. We've been hibernating for a while, for obvious reasons, but we're back with a whole new set list, a whole new guitarist, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and one great thing about doing these live stream concerts is that you can watch from the comfort of your own home, wherever you are. I know for a fact that there are some people of you watching dotted all over the, uh, the world. So welcome, we're Jabawa. We're, a, I guess, a rock band, and we're going to play a bunch of songs. Um, let me just drink a sip of water. <laughs> Our first song was called Unicorn, and we are now going to play El Mafioso. Oh, 
I don't wanna. And this is a very clearly pre-corona song. <laughs> when I wrote it, um, well, you will hear in a minute why, but basically that's what I wanted to say. It's about that feeling that you kind of maybe your friends are, uh, not that they're pressuring you, but you know, everybody's going out, it's a Friday night, but you just really kind of don't feel like it. And you just really, you just want to stay at home and not see anybody and you're kind of done with the whole thing. That was the feeling before Corona. Now we, all we want is see each other, of course. So in that sense, it lost its validity or, but that's not true because it's in, an, in a new way, it's again valid. Would you like to add something, Sarah? Yeah, no, I mean, I'm sure when eventually we can go out all the time, I'll just want to stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Mm -hmm. 
The events of the day and my days are great as long as I don't have to see your face all the time or be around you all the time or hold your hand all the time because I just don't want to, don't want to, don't want to, don't want to. I don't want to go out just to have fun. I don't want to be near another human being. I'm just content on the couch with my sushi and a movie. I don't want to go to pieces of anyone. I just don't want to go out just to have fun. I don't want to be near another human being. Cause I just don't want to, don't want to, don't want to, don't want to, don't want to. So 
next on the set list, we've got probably the only song we know that was inspired by Alexander Technique, uh, Marcus's Lessons, to be specific, but actually now seems like a really good moment to introduce you to the band, <laughs> since we're all a bit out of breath. <laughs> I can hear Guillermo. Um, good thinking, yes. Yeah, let's do that. Um, first off, over here, tuning his guitar is Guillermo Celano. <laughs> who joined our band and immediately made Dodo very jealous with the amount of pedals he's got yes, on the floor. Uh, that I, is I weep myself to sleep every <laughs> night nowadays. Have now. we counted them? I mean, there's like... How, do you know how many you have, Guillermo? <laughs> <laughs> I did not count them. Seven. Seven. Twelve. Twelve. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and then over here, adjusting the drum set, we have Marcos Baggiani. Um, behind me, playing what you probably don't know what it is, but this is an iwi, an electronic wind instrument that Dodo Quiche uses as our bass instrument. So we actually have an iwi bass. Did it. <laughs> Could you maybe like play a little bit? That's like the low end, yeah. which is what I'm mostly using it's in stuck. Tabor, but it has a huge range. So in fact, I can also play really high, like this. Woo! <laughs> I think we might have some recorder players in the audience tonight. Dodo, can you tell how similar is it to a recorder? Yes and no, it's a difficult question always, but yeah, um, I'm a recorder player originally. Uh, it doesn't require any embouchure, so it's not like for, um, in that sense, it's close by the recorder, close to the recorder, not like with a saxophone uh, or another reed instrument where you do need a special type of embouchure, so you just, but it has a lot more resistance than a recorder, so in that sense, you do need to work more with your diaphragm and that kind of stuff. Um, the fingerings, are that you can change the fingerings. You can program it to be recorder fingering or oboe or clarinet or saxophone. I'm using the Ewis built-in um, fingering because it's actually quite logical and, um, and easy. So in that sense, it's, it's the same. For your thumb hole, where your thumb hole would be, I have these, you can probably not see it on the camera, but there are these rolls, and that's how I have the range of eight octaves, just like um, a piano, actually. So that's what happens. That's in short. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Dodo. Um, my name is Sarah. I am also a recorder player, and I'm the singer of Jaboa. Sarah Jeffrey! Um, this is also a recorder. If you've not seen one like this, it's called an Eagle Alto by a Dutch maker called Adriana Brukink. And it's really, really wide, which gives it a lot of strong fundamental tones, which makes it blend well with modern instruments. And I've got some extra keys so I can go. And that's a low E. You're going to hear a lot of low E in the next song. Should it's we play? because uh, guitar players always like to play an E. That's their favorite key. <laughs> Is that true? Yeah, cool. I so. Yeah, I like it. Thanks. <laughs> OK, never mind. So we're going to play. Man's supreme inheritance going into a fugue. Let's do it. Thank you. 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh, yes, I'm ready. I'm going to put my music stand away because we only needed it for one song. Excuse the like really awkward uh, talking in between. We've got to get used to uh, yeah, performing for people together. <laughs> um, but this is a nice moment to say that this is actually the first of six gigs we're going to be playing this summer because we have been blessed with subsidy from the Forms Podium Kunster, the Dutch Performing Arts Fund. So thank yeah. you. Oh, woo -woo. Thank you. Um, the idea of this, it's called Balcon Cerners, and the idea of this is for us to get out performing to live audiences. Uh, the hope was that tonight would be live, um, but it's not. But we have you here instead. Um, so thank you to the FPG, as it's called. Also, I'd like to say thank you to Splendor. We're not finished yet, by the way. I'm just thanking them now. The hall that we're in. Um, if you are somebody living in the Netherlands and you want to support Splendor as a concert hall, you can become a member. And when our doors are open, you get 50 concerts per year for free. That's amazing. For 10 euros a month. I can't think of a better deal. Um, Okay, what next is Small Town Boy, right? Yeah, yeah. We, we have one cover in our set. Um, you probably know this, it's called Small Town Boy. Uh, it's a bit of a classic. And, oh yeah. We chose this piece, we wrote this piece. Look at me, <laughs> classical, mu <laughs> classical <laughs> musician. Um, this song is, uh, it was written in the 80s and it's about a boy who, well, a guy who has to leave home um, because he's gay and his family don't accept him. Um, that we're very fortunate to be living 30, 40 years ahead of that, but it's still not always the case that everybody is accepted in their families for who they love or what they are. And that's something very important to us. Um, without getting too personal, it's something that we've had our own experiences of. So this is something that as a band and as people, we really want to fight for. And apart from that, we just love this song. So without further ado. Well said, Sarah. Yes, yes. Thanks. Um, small town boy.
Yeah, but that's fine. Have to work in. Uh, yeah, then I can. I have a second voice to sing, so if I ah. sing. Awesome. My uh, effects box decided to die halfway through, but I think I can just... Um, Dodo is going to regale you with a story about Jaboa while I just see if I can plug it in again. Because this is the first concert after yeah, so some time. Yes, so little Jaboa story. Yeah, what Jaboa story should I tell? Okay, do you know what the Jaboa is? Where our name comes from? That's a good story, I think, to tell. Um, the Jerboa is, um, is a desert mouse, and what's really import, uh, interesting about the Jerboa is that this animal has the biggest relative ears to its own body. So obviously not the biggest ears, because an elephant's ears are bigger, but relative, le relative to its own body size, it has the biggest ears, and that we thought, and it looks so bloody cute, and can jump really big distances, because it has also huge, cute feet. And actually, uh, we, we have two albums that we brought out in the last couple of years, and one of them is titled Bristly, from the pointy hair of the Jerboa, and the other one is called Gnaw, from this. So that's, that was my Jerboa story. Sarah, did you revive your? I did, I unplugged it and plugged it back in again. Well, that, so that's that tends awesome. to work, yes, very good. Let's hope that doesn't happen again, but it won't. We, we have one song left. Just one song, right? We've, uh, that's true. yeah, that's true. So already before the end of this gift, we want to thank you all so much for being here. We can't see you, but we can, we can feel you. Um, if you like what we do, then check out our Instagram and our Facebook, our websites. It's there, but it's under construction. But you'll be hearing a lot more of us anyway from us yeah. in the upcoming time. So yeah, our last song, Walking. Thank you. 
alma la tierra que nos hizo Girones de cielo cantando en tu rostro Y flores abriendo en tu mirada Tierra que nos ama, tierra que nos da Derrumban la puerta, venimos a hablar El cielo se derrite, llora el hielo que se va El sol brillando en las aguas Reflejo en tu piel, cubriendo el mar En tu reino, nena We were Jabawa, this was Splendor, you were magnificent as an audience. Thank you so much for being here. On guitar, Guillermo Chilano. Woo! On drums, Michael Spagiani. Woo! On Iwi bass recorders and vocals, Dodo Quiche. Woo! And on lead vocals and recorders, Sarah Jeffrey. Thank you, thank you to the team here at Splendor and you all have a good night. <laughs>